What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason here. Uh, 1963 Deep Dive Week. If you haven't already, check out the albums videos. Uh, three separate videos where myself, Joe, and Kramzer each give you our top 25 favorite albums of the year. Uh, and now it's time to get into our favorite songs. I'm going to run through my top 25 of those for you. Uh, number 25, I've got kind of a polarizing song. I think some people find this track annoying, but I think it's a uh, really infectious and fun. I've got Surfing Bird by the Trashmen. Surfy kind of jumping on that surf craze a little bit in 63, but also kind of garagey and really heavy for 63. It's a ridiculous song, but I love it. Uh, number 24, I've got Walk Like a Man by the Four Seasons. Combines two of my favorite vocal styles. You get the really high male falsettos uh, paired with the really rough and scratchy vocals in the verse. I think it works well. Uh, number 23, I've got I Will Follow You by Ricky Nelson. He gives a really mysterious vocal performance here, hanging out down in his lower register a bunch, but he's got great tone and great control on the low notes. Uh, really good. Number 22, I've got Nothing Can Change This Love by Sam Cooke. Uh, one of the best voices of all time. Soulful as hell, smooth, but a little bit of roughness in there, especially on certain lines like Apple of My Eye. When he says that, you get this little bit of scratchiness coming in. It sounds amazing. Number 21, I've got Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. A country classic. I love the mariachi horns. Shout out to June Carter and Merle Kilgore for writing that one. Number 20, I've got Today I Met the Boy I'm Gonna Marry by Darlene Love. One of a few artists that got multiple entries here. The others are all favorite artists of all time of mine. And, you know, I think Darlene deserves to be up there. She's got a voice for the ages. And this is such a great performance. Number 19, my first Beatles entry I've got From Me To You, which I believe is their third single. And actually, I believe the Del Shannon version of this track is the first Lennon-McCartney song uh, to chart in the U.S. Number 18, I've got My Coloring Book by Brenda Lee. Soaring, aching, powerful vocal performance and a great song uh, written by Fred Ebb. Uh, number 17, I've got I Struck a Match by Leslie Gore. One of those songs that pairs sad lyrics with happy music so well. It's so catchy. Uh, really captures the teenage heartbreak. Love it. Uh, number 16, I've got That's the Way Love Is by Bobby Blue Bland killer soulful vocals some great drumming on this track as well i also love the horns and the way they kind of have a little back and forth going with the vocals number 15 is aretha franklin with skylark i mentioned in the albums video that this was one of the best vocal performances of the year and that is certainly true uh, the high notes on this track will just blow your hair back. It's incredible. Uh, then number 14, Girl from the North Country by Bob Dylan. Uh, this is a song that for a long time I would have told you that my favorite version was the Nashville Skyline, but I think this original version of the song has been overtaking that lately. I think it's just gorgeous. Uh, number 13, Act Naturally by Buck Owens. You know, it's self-deprecating, it's humorous, but underneath I, the sadness feels real and it's a really powerful song kind of smiling through the heartache. And I think it's just a, a perfect piece of songwriting. I love every single version of it that I've ever heard. So uh, that's number 13. Number 12, going to be In Dreams by Roy Orbison. Another great track with amazing vocals, perfectly arranged strings, great rhythm to it. And it, it kind of has a dreamlike quality to it, which kind of marries the music and the lyrics really well. Number 11, I've got All My Loving by The Beatles. Great bass line on this one. And of course, John's relentless rhythm guitar playing. Not a lot of times where you say the rhythm guitar is the standout thing about a track, but uh, he's just going at it and it's great. Number 10, I've got Christmas Baby Please Come Home by Darlene Love. Maybe the best Christmas song of all time. Certainly top five at least. The vocals are perfect. Just amazing song. And it's great to hear every year. It's very nostalgic feeling. It feels like Christmas. It may be one of the most Christmassy Christmas songs. Number nine, I've got Sweet Dreams of You by Patsy Cline. She was working on her next record, but died in a plane crash in 63. Uh, ultimately, the track she was working on got packaged into this kind of compilation thing. So she didn't have an album make my list in 63, but... Some great songs nonetheless. Her vibrato and the way she kind of falls off of notes is so unique, and I love it. Uh, number eight, I've got Da Do Ron Ron by The Crystals. To me, one of the best examples of The Wall of Sound. Hal Blaine on drums, Jack Nietzsche arranged it, Cher on backing vocals, just 
a huge sound, just so good. Number seven, Love's Gonna Live Here by Buck Owens. Spent 16 weeks at number one on the country charts, which I believe was a record at the time. Just a perfect, concise tune, and you got all those great Don Rich leads all over it. Number six, End of the World by Skeeter Davis, an amazing country song, perfect, heartbreaking. I love the writing of it, the the turn of phrase, and Chet Atkins produced this track, actually. Great production as well. Number five, I've Got All I've Got to Do by The Beatles, my highest placed Beatles song of the year. Amazing harmonies between uh, Paul and John. John's lead vocals, great as well, and a really super creative drum part. Uh, from Ringo. Number four, I've got In My Room by the Beach Boys. A little doo-wop influence rising to the surface on this track. Amazing singing. And, you know, the ode to the bedroom, that kind of isolation and loneliness and solitude of your teenage years. And I don't know, it's 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 just a vibe. Uh, great song. Number three, Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. Uh, clear step into uncharted waters lyrically, uh, so far beyond what anyone else was writing. Uh, kind of changed what songwriting is and what it should be and what it should say. Uh, really amazing stuff from Bob there. Number two, I've got Surfer Girl, similar to In My Room. Again, kind of those doo-wop influences, but that high falsetto at the beginning really gets me on this one. And I think just the blend of vocals on this track is a step above In My Room. Um, number one, though, sticking with the song I went with during our Songs of the Year series for 63, Be My Baby by the Ronettes, just a perfect recording, iconic drum beats, stellar vocals, influenced everyone. Brian Wilson had to pull his car over when he heard it. Uh, Just amazing stuff. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of my list. Drop your own list and favorite songs down in the comments. Let me know what I missed. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Check back for Cramser and Joe's list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. (laughs) 